ericmothitmother.com for May 31st, 2017. Let's take a look at the FTSE right now trading at multi-year highs. And in fact, not only multi-year highs, but all-time highs right now. Let's call that about 7578. That's a good move. If you take a look at the weekly, looks good. But there's a line that we've been watching, which could be coming in play week to week, which is the RSI top line. You can see right now we haven't been able to move above that line. So that's one question mark as to whether it can sustain current levels. If we take a look at the daily, we can see right now it is doing its best to recapture the 69.1 threshold. It hasn't done so. That's another question mark as to whether it can sustain current levels. Keep in mind, there is a line connecting RSI top lines. So it is coming back to test this line. We've been unable to move above that level. Another question mark as to the strength and intent. And also we can see coming off this high here. This is where the RSI stalled. And so we can draw a line from there. Just this break. Take that information. Draw a horizontal line. And again you can see that. We haven't been able to move above that red line since the break right here. So resistance on that line for the short term high and now we are coming back to backtest that. Now the biggest tell as to what could be happening here and something to watch for here is on the hourly. On the hourly if we draw this line right here we get this break point which is off this high and a shallow pullback. Take that information and draw a straight line. And you can see in the current action here, intraday, it is coming back to test that level and already showing signs of pulling back. So if this is confirmed as resistance, if it can't move above that line, we can logically start expecting this is where it pulls back short term, maybe even a major high. Now, if we take a look at the 30 minute chart, we can draw a line that captures the recent break here and then now it's coming back to test that break level. As of right now again we see that the market is responding to this level. So from an intraday timing perspective this is where you'd expect to start pulling back. As long as it is being rejected on this line one can assume here that it is indicating that the next swing trade is down and again maybe even a major high we shall see. You know. The big steps always begin with a small step. So it could be that this is what stalls it and ultimately affects the big time frames. Because if you take a look at the big time frame on the monthly, we can see that with today's move, it is still unable to move above the 69.1 threshold. Bulls would like the market to take this above this level. Bears would like to see a rejection on this 69.1 threshold. And if you take a look at a longer monthly chart, one can see that here, We've got the last major highs or short term highs. You've seen that the RSI has been rejected at 69.1. Rejection at 69.1 here for those highs. Rejection on the 69.1 here for this intraday high. And now we are coming back to test that threshold. There's also long term RSI top line coming in play. If you connect the highs going back to 97. You can see right now it is coming back to test this level on a month-to-month -month basis. Today being the last trading session for the month, if we open the new month at some point and show resistance here, that's another indication of a potential major top. Eric Mwadu with Mwadu.com. It's a good study. We'll see how things go. Peace and blessings. E, I see.